there's no video evidence of what hit the the Pentagon. Um, well, there's a video of something. I know there was one yeah. hidden camera thing or uh, security camera video that was released, but. What they did have is all sorts of pizza pieces of aircraft all mm. over the fucking lawn. Yeah. I mean, a, in a blown up building and a plane that's missing and all the people <laughs> dead. Like, I'm going to guess it was a plane. Yeah. You know, I just I think people look for conspiracies and everything because it's exciting. Well, There's something I mean, fu- uh, stimulating about it. There is. But then obviously, be, I, I know that you don't believe that everything we're told is the truth right no, away, right? I mean, if we go to something like uh, Gulf of Tonkin incident, yes. right? I mean, Perfect that, that's example. been proven to be false. Or the fact, like the Banana Republics, right? Where mm-hmm. Dole asked us to go take out one of their dictators because they were going to nationalize all the banana plants in that country. Yeah, I mean, those things have been now proven to yes. be totally factual, that the United States government went and did that stuff. So the fact that, and you know, in 1960s or 70s, those things were reported the opposite, right? right? So we can't obviously take everything that we've been reported as truth. Well, there's definitely been conspiracies that have been put together and executed. And these conspiracies have greatly affected the American people. The Gulf of Tonkin is a perfect example. Mm-hmm. Another one that they were planning on was Operation Northwoods. Yes. Operation Northwoods was one that they were planning on blowing up a drone jetliner and blaming it on the Cubans. They were going to arm Cuban mm-hmm. friendlies and have them attack Guantanamo Bay. And they were yeah. going to sacrifice American troops and American lives. And they were going to do this in order to get people to be excited about a war with Cuba. Yeah. This was this is a real thing that was signed by the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It was released by the Freedom of Information Act, and it was vetoed by Kennedy. So we know that there were people, at least mm-hmm. in 1962, that were planning on shit like this. Yeah. So that's a real thing. And the idea that that just went away and no one does that anymore. It's crazy. I, I don't I don't believe that. I think there's, there's most certainly evil people in all f- fucking sectors of life. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's good to have an open mind, but there's also a lot of fucking conspiracy loons that look they, for— And they get consumed with yeah. it. That's that's the yeah. issue. They get consumed with nothing that I've been told is true, Yeah. which is obviously, like I said, the one far end of the spectrum. And I, anyone who's that end is crazy also. Yeah, there's people out there that think the satellites are fake, <laughs> and they think that the, uh, the moon landing one not real. And then the Earth is flat is the one where I just shake my head like— the moon landing one's my favorite. Really? I, I, got, I got balls deep in that for years. I was com- completely convinced. So you convinced. think they did not go to the moon? No, I, I, don't, don't... I don't think that anymore. Okay. But I, I, you know what I think now? I think I don't know. Um, okay. But I do think that it is one of the more fascinating conspiracies that between 1969 and 1972, they had seven, atten- seven, seven t- attempts, six of them successful. Uh-huh. Well, they went to the, Apollo 13 was the one that they didn't apparently make it uh-huh. and they had to come back. But- that was the only time in history that a human being has been more than 400 miles above the Earth's surface. All the space station missions, all the space shuttle missions, mm-hmm. all that stuff is... is Within low. orbit. Yeah, it's low. It's mm-hmm. all very low. They went 260,000 miles out and back into deep space, but they had never even flown a chicken out there and see if it comes back <laughs> alive. Like, we really didn't. Really? Yeah, no. I'm not into this, the space travel one, so... I mean, they did a couple of flybys like, yeah. that went around the moon uh-huh. you know, early before they landed on the moon. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, without unmanned drones like what we have on Mars and things like that, mm-hmm. we've never really sent a living thing out through the magnetosphere, huh. through the Van Allen radiation belts, into deep space. Have it, you know, I mean, th- there's all these possibilities of solar flares and anything that would have yeah. killed them instantly. And they just did that. And then we haven't been able to do that since 1972. That, that's the one way. Yeah. I, I've never looked into the moon landing. I think it's kind of goofy, right? Well, it's, it's but, weird. It's a weird one. Why have we never gone back? It's been 50. Surely our technology well, is far superior to what it was in 1969, right? The technology is far superior, except that they're not using that technology for manned space travel into you know deep space mm-hmm. like that and yeah. to go into the moon. So it's like our technology in all these other areas is superior, but they haven't really worked towards that because they haven't mm. been funded. So uh, the, the big issue it. is in many ways it's money. Right. It's mm-hmm. there's how much money is there in going to the moon. And it, it's also very risky to send humans out there. I mean, we're talking about manned missions to Mars now, which may or may not take place by 2030. They're talking about doing that. But it's way cheaper and safer to send robots out there. Like, yeah. Why risk human lives? It's, well, like, they, they it's put very robots retro. On the moon. Right. Mm-hmm. And they put robots on Mars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 The rovers. The rovers stuff. on Mars are most the, that's the most interesting because they're they're sending these really high resolution photos mm-hmm. of the surface of Mars and they're running tests and checking yeah. for biological life. It's really really interesting stuff. But between sixty nine and seventy two, when they did all this stuff, I mean, th- there's 
the the technology back then was nothing compared to what they have now mm-hmm. in terms of calculations and computers and yeah. and it's also there was uh, there's unquestionably some stuff that whether it was images or video that was faked. And I think really, yeah. So I've never, like I said, I never looked into this at all. Gemini fifteen is the big one because there's a photo of Michael Collins. It shows him uh, in deep space, and they they use it as a press release saying that he was on a spacewalk when it was really an image of him from uh, a test run hmm. where there was all this stuff in the background, and he was on this harness, and they just blacked out the background and tried to sell it as him being in space. Uh. See if you can find that, My, Michael Collins. What, what do you? I was looking up how much it costs to send somebody to. Space. Oh, it's insane. Uh, well, now million there's dollars. these uh, seventy million for a, 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 a NASA astronaut to fly on a Russian shuttle. Well, there's Called all Jeff these Bezos. <laughs> private guys trying to yeah. sell tickets to places. I mean, yeah. Bezos is trying to do it. Musk, obviously. But that's space. Think, that's just that's just low Earth orbit. That's that's still inside four hundred miles. None of them are trying to go anywhere. No. Well, they might in the future. Well, Branson. Well, I th- that's all same thing. It's all low okay. Earth orbit, but oh. but they are talking about future visits to the moon and to Mars. But a lot of times, I feel like when they say that, you know, George Bush Senior said that they were going to go to the moon, back to the moon again, uh-huh. in like fucking when was that? Nineteen ninety or whatever the hell that was. But people have always said we're going to go back to the moon, but we haven't been back since nineteen seventy two. Does mm-hmm. that mean that we never went? No. But then it gets weird when you find out that Werner von Braun was a fucking Nazi. Who? Werner von Braun, the guy uh, who he was the head of NASA. He was uh, the guy okay, who organized okay. the, yeah. the the moon landings and the, he was the head rocket guy. He was he, he, that guy was a legit Nazi. Like he was wanted by the the Simon Wiesenthal Center said that if he was alive today, they would prosecute him for crimes against humanity. They would hang wow. the five slowest workers every day in front of his Berlin rocket factory. Oh yeah. No, 100%. Jesus. I mean, that's what they did. The, the, what, what they did was they took this thing, it was called Operation Paperclip, where when we won World War II, they took all the top Nazi scientists and they secretly brought them over to America. Mm-hmm. And they did it on the down low so that no one would think like, hey, why do we have a guy named Werner von Braun <laughs> running the American space program. Well, it's uh-huh. because the, the Nazi scientists were insanely advanced. Hmm. So the question is like, well, were they really Nazis or were they scientists that were under the boot of the Nazi administration? I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm yeah. not around then. Yeah. But I do know that these are the people that were the head engineers and the people that designed it. Werner von Braun himself was saying how impossible it was just years before they did the moon landing and years before Operation Paperclip that it was impossible to go to the moon or how ridiculously impossible it would be. But technology advanced from then to when 1969 happened to when they did it. I stopped saying that we never went to the moon because I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And that's <laughs> that's a big part of yeah. understanding these conspiracies. It's like, hard. You have to, well, you have to really know. How much do I know about rocketry? How much do I know about aerospace? Zero. Yeah. So if I'm running around saying I don't, I, you know, I don't believe people went to the moon, what is it based on? It's based on mostly on ignorance, speculation, and the excited, the excited feeling that comes with <laughs> uh, trying to uncover a conspiracy. Sure, but uh, and I think you do have to be a little bit discerning on what you hear, and, mm-hmm. and but it, it is frustrating, and that's where a lot of these conspiracy guys they, they think they know more than they, they yeah. do because. You have to come to the realization that you're probably never going to know the real answer with a lot of these things. Yes. Very likely. I mean, some of them come out many, 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 many years later. We're talking about like Gulf of Tonkin, right? Yeah. Or, or Operation Northwoods. Many years later, it comes out. But, you know, there's a good likelihood that I'll never know the truth on stuff I read a lot about. I think with the moon landing, it's way more likely that we went to the moon, but that some of the footage is fake. And I think hmm. they probably did that because it's incredibly difficult to film things on the moon. And I think they filmed some stuff in test runs and then tried to pass that they stuff off. IPhone. They didn't have it back then. <laughs> they had these cameras that they had in the center of their <laughs> chest. I think they, what if they would have been taking a selfie on the moon. Yeah, the kid. Snapchat, Snapchatting it. You'd have to take your suit off and then you would die. <laughs> there was, there was, yeah, they, they didn't have a camera that you could put in front of you. Well, maybe they have one of those clicker buttons they could have with their big gloves on and they, they, you know, they put the thing out and then could they be. click it and then boom, Snapchat, Wi Fi on the moon. Well, that's what they said. Well, it was that they did it remotely. That's how they captured the mm. uh, video of the uh, lunar module leaving the surface of the moon and panned up and watched it go. That they did all that remotely. Hmm. It's all, there's some squirrely footage. You ever see the video of them jumping around? It looks like they're on trampolines. Yeah, I've seen that. 
like they're just bouncing straight uh-huh. up in the air. You're like, well, what the fuck is that? How come the physics are different in different flights? Like in some some of the flights, like Apollo 11, they're barely getting off the ground. Is it one where they're like they're walking, but they're kind of going doof, doof, yeah like that? Well, there's ones like that, and then there's also ones where they fall down. It looks like they're getting yanked up by wires. Hmm. I think it's entirely possible that some of that stuff was faked. Huh. But I don't. I think it's way more likely that they actually went to the moon than they didn't. But it's way sexier to think that they faked the whole thing. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to think they faked the whole thing. <sighs> that everybody was quiet about it, and you know Neil Armstrong gave this real cryptic speech on the 25th anniversary of uh-huh. the moon mission, saying that you know uh, there are hidden truths. Uh, that 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 uh, what is, what is the exact quote that he said? Um, some tr- the great truths that could be real re- revealed, removing some of truth's hidden layers. Like he so, what if, he, what if he was given it away? It was real cryptic. It was like, what do you? Uh, let's see if you could find it. I, I got the video. Play yeah, the video. play the video. He might have been given it away. <laughs> well, it seemed if you were a conspiracy theory, this would give you a rock hard boner. Because <laughs> listen, listen to this. Neil Armstrong made a rare public appearance. Next generation of taxpayers. No, 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 no. Just play the whole thing so you don't confuse everybody. In 1994, Neil Armstrong made a rare public appearance and held back tears as he spoke these brief cryptic remarks before the next generation of taxpayers as they toured the White House. Today we have with us uh, a group of students among America's best. To you, we say we have only completed a beginning. We leave you much that is undone. There are great ideas undiscovered, breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, I mean, what? you're yeah. supposed to say, yo, I went to the moon, bitch. <laughs> you're not supposed to say breakthroughs. That uh, maybe can be he's giving it away. Truth protective layers. Like, I don't even understand what that means. The, the, the press conference is one of the more fascinating things. If you watch the press conference, again, I was balls deep in this stuff for yeah. years. The press conference from 1969 when they returned from the moon is one of the most cryptic, weird things you'll ever see. These guys look like they just stole something and they're being questioned. It's it's hmm. the it's I've never seen a video where people look like they're more full of shit than that video of the press conference from 1969. It's okay. weird, man. It's weird. They're like fidgety and looking nervous <laughs> like they're getting away <laughs> so with something. So they didn't do it then. They might have done it. They might have uh, been forced to say some things that they didn't yeah. want to say and that could be part of it. Absolutely. You know, they could have done it. But there's a lot of weirdness with the moon landing. Mm-hmm. It's it's if you wanted to have like a conspiracy that to wrap your head around that's exciting. It's one of the best ones. The really, but who bene- who back, benefits from it? The United States government did because it showed military superiority over, over the Russia. Russians. Yeah, so we were okay. able to do that. Sure. It also, you know, it was the Nixon administration. People were just flat out full of shit. Well, yeah. I mean, they were just lying to people left and right back then. That's government, though. Yeah, but even more so then because it was unchecked. There was no media. Social media. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing that would uh-huh. expose them for this. And this stuff, in, they would air it on TV once in 1969. You never see it again unless yeah. you watched it on film. There's no YouTube where you can yeah. go back and or- watch the astronauts on trampolines video that's my favorite one you watch that and you go what in the fuck is happening there these guys are bouncing up in the air mm-hmm. like how are they doing that like they never did if you watch apollo 11 when they were moving around on the surface of the moon it's just like they're moving in slow motion mm-hmm. and then you go to uh, whatever it was like apollo 14 or 15 when they were doing the trampoline thing they're just fucking flying through the air <laughs> have you seen it i've not i know I, i've never gotten to the moon thing the flat hey, earth thing this. is ridiculous watch this and it, like their feet are hidden. Look at this. Watch these guys bounce up in the air. It's like they're on some sort of wire. Like they're be, being yanked up into the air. Oh yeah. Like what the fuck are they doing? And they're playing, like falling down, and it's very weird. But it could have <laughs> been that they were really on the moon, and these guys were fucking cowboys and yahoos, and they wanted to b- bounce just... around. Oh, you were po- so you were posting those videos. Yeah, I posted those videos back in the day. Uh, in the day. Yeah, I, I had a debate on Pendulette's radio show with a, a guy who's an astronomer. 
And he wasn't willing to admit a lot of stuff that was a fact, like the fact that Werner von Braun was a Nazi. Well, why does the flag look so still there? Well, the flag had a wire, first of all, on the top of it that stiffened uh. it up to make it but there's there's videos of the flag moving in uh, a non-existent breeze, which is weird too. And yeah. there's, they try to make some logical explanations for why the flag could be moving in a vacuum, and some of it makes sense, but some of it doesn't. Hmm. So, like the the wires one is weird. If you watch them fall down, like go to that one right there, Jamie. You like if you watch like sometimes they're falling down, and when they're falling down, it looks like they get yanked back up. But I think. It might not have been real footage. What they might have done is use some test footage, like right there, Jamie, right there. Let it go. Like homeboy falls down, and then it looks like he gets yanked back up. Look at this. Whoops. Oh, he did not. That's like, not him that? standing up. Yeah. What is this? That's not Look. him standing up. You can't stand up like that. Right. But you're on the moon. Okay. Nah, so you realize nah. you're in one sixth Earth gravity. But there was no, there was nothing to make him go like this. Exactly. Right. You can't get right. up without. Exactly. Now we go back to MMA because that's yeah. what these freaking. Folk style wrestling is the next generation of MMA because yeah, you have again. to turn to your base to get up. You can't look at there's nothing on the ground. How is he going to get the momentum? He's getting to go? yanked up. You, like he would have super abs. He would have to be like no, a break dancer. No, you can't because okay, maybe a break dancer, <laughs> maybe a break dancer. But you can't get up without putting a base down, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was really weird. I it's never, very I never saw weird. It Watch it again. Watch him get yanked up. Yeah, oh. he's got no base. Yeah, it almost no. seems like that little piece is played in reverse. Well, yeah, it almost, almost but, does. Yeah, <laughs> it almost yeah. does. Yeah, that he couldn't stand up like that. But the thing falls down right afterwards, yeah, no, so it wasn't no, in reverse. No, I think it's entirely possible that some of the footage was bullshit. But it doesn't mean that they didn't go to the moon. Yeah. It, it means that overzealous people in the And he only the had press... one foot on the ground there, too. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Look at this. Watch. So he stood Woo! up like... Look at that. It's ridiculous. He can't do it. What? His right foot's down, his left foot's up, and he just goes straight no, up in the air. It not, is that's crazy. Not, that's, that's fake. But... I've never been in one sixth Earth gravity, and neither of you. No, so maybe it's Joe, easier it's to fake, do. dude. Can't stand up like <laughs> that. <laughs> you think that's fake? Right. That, that video says we never went to the moon. I said, that, the I said that video is fake. No, the, the video is real. That's from television. Okay, the video but, that guy standing up like that, he got help somehow. Yeah, well, you can't stand up like that. Very well, he could have been on wires. It could have yes. been that they were using that to simulate what it would be like. Because they definitely filmed a lot of simulations. They mm. did a lot of that because they wanted to prepare the astronauts. Mm. It's entirely possible that some of those simulations got mm. passed yeah. off as being an actual video of them on the moon. Sure. Yeah. Fair or, enough. Or they faked the whole fucking thing. <laughs> I wasn't there. So, I, don't know. So I was actually, only two. <laughs>